Hey guys, just kidding. Today my top secret assignment is to drive the motorcade for U.S. Secretary of the Treasury Janet Yellen. I'm not driving her, apparently I'm driving some reporters. This is what they do in official events when a cabinet secretary comes to a city, and in this case it's Milwaukee. They find volunteers to do it. So I'm taking my Friday to hang out with Janet Yellen. Although I don't know how much hanging out I'm going to do. I think I'm mostly going to be sitting in this government minivan and go where they tell me to go, doing my public service. But it's kind of fun too. If you're wondering why they chose me to drive in the motorcade, well, that's a great question. It turns out that these kind of events are staffed almost completely by volunteers, and it's a big honor to get the opportunity to participate in a motorcade. You get to hang out with the Secret Service, you get to talk to staffers, and you get to learn how to safely and legally run red lights. She is a U.S. Cabinet Secretary, and she's fifth in line in presidential succession. Secretary Yellen made two stops when she was in Milwaukee on Friday. First, she stopped at the Wisconsin Regional Training Partnership Big Step Building at 3841 West Wisconsin Avenue. She was talking to some of the young men and women learning construction skills at this job training center. Secretary Yellen's second official stop on Friday was at the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce, the MMEC, in downtown Milwaukee. That was a closed press event, but she met with local business leaders and discussed their concerns about taxes and the growth of the economy. I just got a lapel pin that says A on it. A for Andy, A for assistant, unpaid assistant. Mm. If it sounds like I'm complaining, I'm absolutely not. This is just stuff that I'm kind of used to. I did work at the White House as an intern when I was 21, so I did have at least a low-level security clearance. I have met presidents. One of them in 2005 came to my office at On Milwaukee, and my former business partner and I rode with George W. Bush to the art museum in his limo, so there was not a lot of standing around. Nonetheless, I was extremely grateful for the opportunity, and if you ever get tired of meeting a U.S. cabinet secretary or a president of the United States, then and you're probably in the wrong job. I'm about four and almost four and a half hours into this. Haven't done anything yet. Tony Evers is in the suburban in front of me. And I'm back in the van after taking the motorcade full of journalists to Lakefront Brewery for lunch with Secretary Janet Yellen and Governor Tony Evers. And I think one more might be in there as is the county executive, but I'm not sure. They're gonna give me lunch, but I have to sit in the car and wait for it. I didn't actually get a chance to talk to any of the traveling journalists because, well, they're on deadline, so they were typing away on their laptops. So it's very much like being a free Uber driver, but hey, service is service, and it's an interesting story. Well, it's almost two o'clock, and I am sitting in the parking garage of the Grand Avenue, and I will be doing this for the next hour on the way from Lakefront Brewery. The journalists and I drove through downtown and asked, they asked me a couple questions about Milwaukee, how it's changed, what it's like now, so I felt like I was able to at least answer that. After this, I guess it's off to the airport, and then somehow finding my way back to the intermodal station, and done. And that's when the trip got cool. So my friend Kevin Lampy, who was organizing this event, grabbed me from the van and said, come on up, let's meet the secretary. So I walked into the MMAC and I had my few seconds to thank her for visiting Milwaukee. She was gracious, she was cool, and honestly, it was worth it. You know what it is? We're ducks. We look very calm on the surface and we're paddling like hell and ready to make sure nothing goes wrong and nothing went wrong. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. It's been a great trip. Jackie, what was it like um, right, driving driving around the secretary and her crew? It was absolutely amazing. I really appreciated the opportunity. Um, staff was super nice, super knowledgeable, and very helpful. What was surprising about it to you? Um, the experience of driving in a motorcade. I've never done that before. and. Um, Having um, police lights behind me and not having to pull over, that was a really exciting experience, being able to go through red lights and not getting pulled over for it. Would uh, you do it again? I would absolutely do it again, yes.
Janet Yellen is a highly accomplished and very well-regarded economist. And she's not just the Secretary of the Treasury. She was also the chairperson of the Fed. And the fact that this 77-year-old woman came to Milwaukee and had a super busy schedule in just a few hours and then flew back economy class Southwest Airlines, it's a testament to how hard these people work. Doing this as a volunteer for one day of my life, it's an important function of government and stuff that happens to make things happen.